Hi grade 1 students and welcome back. Today we're going to start a new week related to unit 2 in our UOI or unit of inquiry classes. This unit is themed as where we are in place and time. And in this video in particular we're going to discuss our homes, the houses that we live in, the ones that are familiar to us and the ones that are even not familiar but we should know and learn about them. We should see pictures related to all of these houses around us. So let's begin by comparing types of houses. We're going to talk about types of houses that we already know and get introduced to the houses that we don't know about. Okay, some people live in a movable van and they call it a camper van. They use it to go camping here and there, right? We can say that it's their home because they live in it. They live, eat, sleep and do all the activities in it. Other people live in a tent. Oh, this is impressive. Yes, but some people live in a tent. People in frozen areas of the universe or uh, on our planet Earth live in houses that, that are made up out of ice, which are called igloo. Excellent. There is also a lighthouse. It's a special and a unique place where some people stay. We have a detached house, a cottage. A skyscrapers oh these are tall buildings that we can see in a city right excellent we talked about detached house but there is another type that is called semi detached house we're going to talk about them we have a castle a terraced house block of flats apartment buildings and villa we're going to discuss all of these houses in our class. Let's look at this picture and see if we haven't mentioned any of the houses around the world. We can see a cottage, a still house, an igloo as I said before, a farmhouse, a hut, Tall buildings are called skyscrapers. Excellent. We have a tent, a castle, a cave. Oh, and we have a mansion, a palace, a tree house, a caravan, a lighthouse, and apartment apartment building. In our class, we're going here. We have semi-detached uh, houses and detached houses. And the difference between them is that the semi-detached houses are connected, as we can see. But, this, but the detached houses are separated. They look identical, they look the same, right? But they are separated. We can see something right in between of them. So they are not connected. But in the semi-detached houses, we can see them connected and identical right in our class we're going to compare and contrast these houses and we're going to find the similarities and the differences between them as i mentioned before there are many types of houses and we are going to use a venn diagram to compare and contrast them now let's look at these two areas we can see a city and a town and i guess that the difference between them is obvious in a city we can see tall buildings we can see shores we can see a lot of buildings that include offices companies cinemas and a lot of thing things in a city because we live in a city and we observe and see all of these buildings right while in a town we don't see high buildings as we can see in a city 
we can see like shorter buildings a lot of trees if we compare we can see that there are more trees in the town than in a city right so there are huge and obvious differences between towns and cities that we are going to discuss in our class so a city is a place where you will get all the facilities and the perfect need for your lifestyle a town is a term used for describing smaller cities not all cities are big in this world so we can say a town for a city that is a small one that doesn't have a lot of facilities it doesn't have like uh, sophisticated or fancy restaurants it doesn't have cinemas it doesn't have a lot of companies so it's a small city that we call a town as i said before and as we can see another picture of a city compared to a town, we can see the difference between them. So which one of these is a city, guys? The one down there or the one on the top? Yes, excellent. The city is the one at the bottom of the picture and the town is on the top. So as I said before, we're going to draw a Venn diagram, which is these two circles that are intersecting or meeting connected together. We are going to find the differences and the similarities between cities and towns. So if we look at the middle right between them, we can see that the similarities, which that they both have buildings, supermarkets, and department stores and cottages while in the countryside or the town we can see gardens meadows fields wood forests singing of birds domestic animals fresh fruit vegetables and berries while in a city in a big city we mean we can see theaters cinemas art galleries heavy traffic museums, historical mo monuments, universities, and concert halls, which we don't see in towns. Now, let's move and talk about houses in Jordan. There are different types of houses that we find in Jordan. This is, for an instance, a Bedouin tent. These tribes and Bedouins live in tents, as we can see. But if we go to Wadi Ram, we will find bubble tents. These are very famous in Jordan. And tourists from all around the world visit Jordan to stay or spend some time in these bubbles and watch the starry sky. It's a marvelous scene. Some other people in Jordan live in tin houses and we can find these types of houses in areas that can have refugees or people that came from outside the country. We have a stone house that is made up out of stone as well. We also have different types of houses as we can see in the picture. These houses are very crowded and they are made up out of stones but they really look nice they show our traditions right and we have also villas in our beloved country and other buildings as we will get introduced to in our class and we are going to have a tour in the bus to get introduced to all of these types of houses now we're done explaining all the concepts that we're going to study throughout this week. Hope to see you soon and thank you for listening.